Now welcome to your guide to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, arguably one of the worst Call of Duties to ever have been released. Well, in terms of campaign it is. So, I know what you're saying, I grew up on this game, how's it bad? It's not bad at all, I love this game. So do I, I grew up on it too. But, it's very prone to glitches like this. This. And also a little bit of this. I mean, at least the graphics aren't bad. Oh, no, never mind, there's a missing texture. And there's another one. Oh well, at least don't get killed by an SMG every five sec. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, at least the entire enemy floor isn't mi oh, okay. The entire enemy floor is missing. Okay. And no one runs around with a sniper anymore, like the good old days. So good luck trying to have fun. I mean, at least lag isn't a problem. Oh wait, I threw the grenade around the corner and it hit the wall that I was looking at. Okay. I mean, it's got zombies, I guess. I guess that's okay. But good luck trying to play with an actual team of randoms because it's highly unlikely that they'll know how to even play the game. I guess it's got creator class, but so does every other COD game. And I mean, it has DLC weapons, which are paid to win, because you can buy them with little boxes. So, yeah, it's just ruin the game. You can just pay to win. Oh, and also, good luck trying to play either a featured or a hardcore mode, because only 6% of the player base actually plays hardcore. In normal core, everyone just plays team deathmatch, so good luck trying to have any fun trying to play any other game mode, because you'll not get into a match. And if you look at the top where it says online players, that's how many people actually play that game mode at this time. Anyway, it's been fun. See you in the next video.